how to get upside down on the pole without inverting. If you're interested in learning more about how to do this, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Um, just make sure before you start, you're all warmed up, you're stretched. Just have a crash mat out. Um, if you have no one around to spot you and you're a beginner, or this is your first time trying this trick, please just be safe. Um, don't do anything dangerous, okay? All right. Nice pep talk. If you don't know what inverting is, I will show you that really quickly. An invert is just a basic straddle upside down on the pole, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like right now. If you're a beginner and you're still working up building the strength in order to do that, here's a really good trick for you guys, okay? So to start out, you need to be in a jasmine. So you're gonna start in a side climb, okay? You can just do one side climb into your jasmine. I'm gonna climb higher up the pole so I can show you guys. So here, you're in your jasmine. You need to be able to release this top arm, okay? You need to feel comfortable doing that. So in order to get upside down, after you're in your jasmine, your leg is up high, I release my top arm, and then starting out, you wanna slowly drop this arm, this bottom arm, until you're upside down in your Scorpio. And then from here, I can release my leg back in, in my actual Scorpio. But that's, that'll be for another video. And then to come down, you can just reverse invert out. You can begin climbing in a regular climb and then switch over to your side climb, but it's, it's preference, it's, it's up to you. Um, if you already know how to side climb, you can just side climb and go right into it. But either way, you need to get into your jasmine. So I start parallel to the pole. My inside knee is gonna hook the pole, like so. And then once my inside knee hooks the pole, my other leg is gonna shoot behind the pole, okay? My other hand is gonna grab in the middle, and my other leg is gonna shoot behind and hide. Okay, and you can point your toes for a really nice secure grip. And notice too, when I'm when I pull my leg in in my jasmine, I'm really gripping the pole right here with my leg in order for me to release my hand. Okay? That's your prerequisite, okay? You need to be able to do that move right there in order to get upside down without inverting, okay? So I'm gonna start up high on the pole so you guys can see. I'm gonna start in my regular climb or you can side climb, it's up to you. Up to you. The more you get comfortable with it, the faster you can release that bottom arm and actually make that transition. So in the beginning, you wanna release back slow. Okay, you wanna drop that hand back slow. And as you get more comfortable, you can just fall into it and make it look really dramatic. I'm actually gonna show you this on spin really quick because it looks really pretty. Let's 
So you probably noticed that I didn't even really use my hands. The more comfortable we get with it, you don't even need to place that hand there. Your leg grip, I mean your knee grip is really all you need. This knee grip and that pelvis grip when your leg is up high is the only kind of grip you really need to safely drop upside down into your Scorpio leg hang, okay? So one more time, I'm gonna show you that again. This time I'm gonna side climb into it just to show you the difference. And then I can just drop. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.